Okay, let's do some of these. Or right, hopefully you tried them. All right, a cheetah runs 87 meters in in three seconds. What is the cheetah's unit rate of speed? So it's meters per second. So 87 over three meters per second, right? Set it up, okay? Meters per second. Make sure you can see this. Oh, hang on a minute. Does that help? Meters per second. So basically, 87 divided by 3. So I'm going to take my calculator again, all right, uh, and just do 87 divided by 3. 87 divided by 3, and my answer is 29, and this would be meters per second. Okay, unit rate. Okay? If six cans cost $9, how much would it cost to buy eight? So guess what? We got three numbers. Three numbers is going to be a proportion. Six cans cost nine dollars. I think keep in mind you have to have money before you buy anything. So I'm going to go nine over six. So money over cans. That's how I'm setting this up. Equals. How much would it cost to buy eight cans? Money over cans. That's my X is missing. Eight on the bottom. Butterfly. So I get 6x equals 9 times 8 is 72. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and x equals, if I divide by 6, how many 6's are in 72? And the answer is 12, right? Because 6 times 12 makes 72. So what did I answer? How much would it cost to buy 8 cans? $12. Okay, <clears throat> Sarah can lift a 10 pound weight by applying 30 pounds of force. So it's the weight and the force uh, of, a, of a lever. If the amount of force Sarah needs to apply to a lever is proportional to the weight she can lift, how much force would she need to apply in order to lift a 25 pound weight? Yeah, lots of words, but basically this, 25 pound weight, 10 pound weight, force, 30 pounds force. Okay. So I have three numbers, and I need to find the fourth. So I'm going to say she can lift 10 pounds when she applies 30 pounds of force. I'm just going to go 10 over 30. So this is her, the, uh, the weight, okay, the weight, and this is the force. Equals 25-pound weight. She wants to lift 25-pound weight. How much force that you're missing? Butterfly, so I get 10x equals 30 times 70, um, times, ah, sorry, 30 times 25 is 750. You follow me? 30 times 25 is 750, divide by 10, divide by 10, and x equals 75. So she needs 75 pounds of force to lift a 25 pound weight. Okay? Next one. A real estate agent earns a commission. A commission is like what they, they get paid on a sale for every house she sells. She sells a house for $125,000 and earns $4,800 on her, that's her commission. What is the rate Oh, rate of the commission, that means she's looking for, we're looking for the percent. That's the mystery. Percent, percent X, let's call it, over 100 is part over the whole. The whole price was 120000 right? And what did she get of that 120000 4800 Same kind of problem, butterfly it, right? So I go 120000 x equals 100 times this puts on two zeros 4800 and that put on two more zeros time because it's times 100. Now I'm going to divide by 120,000. Divide by 120000. Now watch guys, simple math. Your zeros you can cross off if you were doing division, right? And now I have to, oh, this goes off two. How many 12s are in 48? 
x equals how many 12s and 48? 4. What were we looking for? The percent. Guess what? This is 4% commission is her answer. So she earns a 4% commission. This was 75 pounds for that one, and this was $12, okay? And this is the unit rate, it's 29 meters per second. Okay. All righty. A $62 handbag is on sale for 35% off. What is the sale price of the handbag? Show or explain how you found your answer. Hmm. 35% off of the $62 handbag. Okay. So there's a couple ways of doing this. We want to know what 35% of the $62 is. And that's what you will subtract from the original price to get the sale price. Or a smart way of doing it is instead of paying 100% of the price of the bag, 100% take away 35%. 100 minus 35 means you're paying, so you're going to pay 65% of, of, of the price. Do you agree? 35% off means you're paying 65%. Because 35 plus 65 makes 100%. Think about that, right? So I'm going to pay 65% of the price. Well, 65% of $62 per purse, price, whatever, price. Well, of means multiply. Percent, make it into a decimal by going, moving the decimal two places over. So it's 0 0.65 times $62. And I'll use my calculator. 0. 0.65 times $62 and I get $40 and 0. 0.3, which is 30. So this is the, the sale price. Okay? This is the shortest method. I'm going to show you another method. What if I want to know what is 35% off of 62? Okay. So 35 goes over 100, that's the percent, equals, I want to know the part of the 62. So that's the part is missing, and the original whole price is, oops, sorry, 62. See, good old pencil, is 62. Okay, part over the whole. Butterfly this, I get 100x equals 35 times 62 is 2,170. I divide by 100, divide by 100, and I get x equals, when I divide by 100, you move the decimal in two, 21.70, okay? And this re represents the savings. So I must subtract that from the original price. So $62 was the original price minus 2170, and I'm personally going to rely on my calculator, but I know the answer comes out to be $40.30. Both ways are acceptable. This way we found how much the savings was, but then you got to subtract it from the price. This way I subtracted that off 100% and said, okay, I'm going to pay 65% of of the purchase of the, the price. So 65% of $62 comes out to be $40.30. Okie dokie. So that ends lesson three. We'll be starting lesson four shortly.